AI agents are transforming how we work, automating tasks, analyzing data, and can even act as a reliable personal assistant. My prediction is that 2025 is going to be the year of agentic AI agents who begin really popping out everywhere, especially in the workspace. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to build your own recipe AI agent assistant to help you find and extract recipe instructions from the web using Agno AI framework in Python. This is going to be a beginner-friendly tutorial, especially if you need more hands-on experience building agentic AI agents. In this video, I will go through every single step to build the agent. However, it is highly recommended that you have some knowledge working with Agno Agent Framework. If you have never heard of Agno, Agno is an open source AI agent framework focused on for building intelligent autonomous systems with ease. The framework offers robust tools for knowledge retrieval, workflow automation, and memory management, enabling AI agents to process information efficiently and act with precision. And with more than 18,000 stars on GitHub, Agno is one of the most popular agent frameworks today, with tons of resources available. To perform the web search, I will be using Google Custom Search API, which requires an API key. And to scrape recipe instructions, I will be using HTTPX and beautiful soup Python libraries. So make sure you sign up for a Google Cloud account and have access to AI models with tool calling capability. Let's look at the diagram here to get an idea of the agent workflow before diving into the tutorial. For the starting point, the user will send a request to the recipe agent. The recipe agent will review the request and use search Google function tool to find relevant recipes from the web based on Google search engine and present the options to the user. User will then choose one of the options or ask for more options. The recipe agent will then scrape the recipe page using the get recipe function to extract the instructions and present it to the user. And that's basically the workflow. Pretty straightforward. Now let me show a quick demo of the recipe agent we will be building so you have an idea what to expect from this project. In the input, we can ask for a recipe idea and the recipe agent will do a quick web search using Google Custom Search API and present the options. Here, we can either choose an option from the list or ask the agent to give us more options. Now, let's say I am interested in the kid-friendly Japchi recipe. I can simply type three. The recipe agent will go into the web page, scrape the recipe, and present the steps to make the dish. If you're someone who loves to cook or is a huge foodie, then you will definitely enjoy building and using the recipe agent. To get started, navigate to console.cloud.google.com and sign in. Click the drop down on the top and click New Project. If you already have an existing Google Cloud project, you can skip this step. Give the project a name and click Create. Once project is created, select the project. On the navigation menu, under APIs and Services, select Library. Navigate to Custom Search API and enable the API. To generate an API key, Navigate to APIs and Services. Click Credentials. On the top, click Create Credentials, then select API Key. Copy the key and store it securely. This key will be used in the agent setup. For demonstration purpose, I will hard code the API key in the script. With the API key ready, we can now set our custom search engine or CSC. Navigate to csc.google.com and sign in with your Google account. Click Add to create a new search engine. Give the search engine a name. And in the What to Search section, choose 
search the entire web or choose search specific sites or pages. If you want to narrow down to specific sites, click create to create the search engine. Click customize to update additional settings. Copy the search engine ID to your script. In the search features section, update the settings you wish to change. With the API key and search engine ID ready, we can now move on to building the recipe agent in Python. Launch a terminal and install Agno HTTPX, Beautiful Soup, and OpenAI Python packages. For reusability, we're going to create a module specifically to set up the recipe agent. In your code editor, create a Python file and name it setupagent.py. In the script, import the Python packages as shown on the screen. When retrieving search results from Google's custom search API, we need a structured format for storing the data. Define two Pydentic data models to handle search results. The search result class defines a single search result, which includes a title, a snippet, and a link to the recipe page. The search results class stores a list of search result objects. To extract the recipe instructions from a web page, create a function called getRecipe that takes a URL as input and returns the extracted text from the page. When this function is called, it sends an HTTP GET request to the specified URL. If the request is successful, the function passes the HTML content using beautiful soup and extracts the text. The extracted text is then cleaned by removing unnecessary line breaks, tab characters, and excessive spaces to improve readability and reduce input token usage. Here, let me comment out the print functions and add the doc string to help AI agent to understand the purpose of the function. To allow the agent to find recipes online, create a function named search Google. Copy the API key and search engine ID to the API key and the CX ID variables inside the function. If we look at the search Google function, the function takes a search query and other optional parameters to define the search output. We can specify the date range of the web pages published or specify the domain to search from. Keep in mind that with Google Custom Search API, each request can only return up to 10 results at a time. To fetch the remaining results, set the start argument to skip the results that are already returned. And here's the function source code. This step is optional, but if you want to store your conversation history, create a function named setup storage and use Agno SQLite agent storage class to set up the SQLite database. Now that we have all the functions prepared, we can now set up the recipe agent. Create a function called recipe agent. Inside the function, set up the agent storage first, then construct the agent object. In the agent setup, start by giving the agent a name, assigning a model and agent storage database, and add description and instructions. Description is equivalent to system prompt. It controls how the agent will behave and respond. Think of it as agent's persona. And instructions are the steps how you want the agent to generate the outputs. When it comes to agent development, Prompt engineering is the key to make your agent robust and consistent. In the description, state that the agent is responsible to help users with recipes from the web. And for requests that are not recipe related, simply reply, I am unable to help with that. Then add the steps to briefly describe how the interaction should be. And in the instructions, add the steps how the agent should generate the recipes.
in the tools parameter, add the functions the agent will be able to use, and set add history to messages to true. Debug mode and show tool calls control if you want to print the log when agent is calling a function and all other stuff. And finally, return the agent object as the function output. Now that we have finished setting up everything, the next step is to test the agent. Create a blank Python file to run the agent. In this script, create a recipe agent instance and set up Agno Playground. Agno Playground is their front-end UI to interact with agents. Run the script to launch the playground. Looks like I forgot to install the Python packages to run Agno Playground. Run the command to install SQL Alchemy in FastAPI. Let's run the script again. In the playground, double check the endpoint and target agent are correct. In the input, let's ask, please recommend a Chinese noodle dish for dinner. The search Google function will be executed and returns the five options. You can specify the number of options you want the agent to return, but for now, five is enough. From the options, let's choose low main noodles from pinch of yum. The agent will call the get recipe function to extract the page's text, analyze the text, and extract the recipe instruction. Test a couple more times to ensure all the requests are fulfilled without any issues. And that concludes this recipe agent development tutorial. I hope you find the video useful. If there are any AI agent tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.